Oh, well, what manner of shop is this? From the iron ingots, the coals, and the anvil, Arlonius might be saying this here be an armory. But Arlonius could be wrong, since he may be as smart as ye. Very cute. Show me what arm you have available then. Why, why you may be saying so when you first come in? Everyone always be wasting Arlonius' time. Alright, well apparently we can buy full plate armor here, including magical plate. Interesting. Various types of shields. Helmets that aren't quite so garish. Actually, I think that is probably much more, uh... Uh, let's see. Much more her style. Yeah, not quite so silly. And I guess Vince will just hold on to that other helmet. Okay. Oh yes. So we can buy decent armor here. Just as I thought. And uh yeah, that store's closed. Well apparently we can go here. But would that be an a shop or just some person's house? I don't think this is a shop. Uh, no, actually, this just appears to be a an empty tavern. Onward. That's odd. Okay then. Moving along. There's a town crier yelling around. Oh, and apparently a, a zoo, of some kind. Got a moose, a leopard. Uh, yes? The circus has been saved? Well, I must see this for myself. Thank you so much! Actions are good, and will serve the greater balance. As you will. That was odd. Well, apparently there's a snake slithering around in there. It looks pretty narrow, like it could just slither out from between the bars. But... Oh, maybe there's a trick to it or something. Yeah, seems like some nice people. My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. Lord Ophel. Ah, good day to you. I am Lord Dermot Ophel, and this is my wife, Lady Cherie. We have... we have... we... hmm. What do you think, my dear? I think far too light to be Calumshite. Indeed. A Miriam, perhaps. Nonsense, but nearly in class. Water deep, perchance. Not nearly civilized enough to be from Water Deep, darling. Now you're just being silly. Well, you don't think they're ominous, do you, sweet? Certainly not. They don't look half so wealthy as to be Amish. Well, then why am I speaking to them? Agreed. Shh, you'll hear us. Excuse us, but we've decided to snub you. Yes, we have. Good business, then, and good day. Things are going well for us, yes? It's a dangerous path, but we manage well for ourselves. Oh, well. Lord and Lady Ophel apparently didn't want to talk to us. What a tragedy. Oh, hey, there's that town crier. Maybe he has some news. Hello, hello! More Tethrian exiles landing in Athkotla! Hear ye, hear ye! Expelled for familial misdeeds! Oh, shudder to think of all the red ink! Exiles? What's all this about then? The year of the tankard has been a tough one for the rich and pampered trying to grind out a living on the backs of the poor down south. Noses are akimbo about Mactizican gold falling into chubby fingers while Rhea Teven and Trailstone are left reading from the wrong books and the dog-leg ledgers. Judgment was swift on the deserving and bags packed double time. Good riddance the natives wailed from ramparts high. Every morning I'm here, keeping the faith, protecting the righteous and crucifying the guilty. Drop by to gnaw the fat and feast on the foolish. My little salesman there. You find no better prices in armor. I guarantee it. Aha! Mahir thinks you are just the sort of customer he was waiting for. Perhaps you are interested in weaponry? Mahira thinks you are. Uh, I take it that you are Mahir? Indeed I am. Mahir Yin Gadar El Sadith, most recently a Rashomon, at your service. Mincing. You are coming from Rashomon? I remember it fondly and hope to take Boo to see it once I have completed my Tijema. Aha! Who is your witch then, I take it? No. Boo is my hamster. And Boo is my friend. Oh, uh, I see. I... Where was I? Ah, yes, my lord. You are, uh, still interested in examining my wares, yes? Sure, show me what you have. Most excellent. 
Examine my wares to your heart's content, Kasati, and I'm sure you will find nothing to displease you. Alright, he's got weapons of various kinds. A magical warhammer. A magical sling. Two magical slings plus one, and they're really cheap. I'll take both. Okay. Alright, what else? Magical spears and quarterstaffs. La 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 la, magical bullets. Okay, cool. I got a couple of uh, magical slings out of the deal. Carrot will take one, and Jahira will take the other. And we can just throw out those old slings, because you can't sell them. A bit unfortunate that we have to litter, but... That's just the way it is. I wouldn't dream of refusing. What's this guy here? Okay, quit Whatever Auris. And uh, a guard. Is this, this the way you talk to everyone, or is it just the poor people? You? Have you ever been cheated here? I bet you have. Yoshima saying me? Exactly. I can't even remember the last time someone cheated me out of anything. Ha ha ha. Well said, Yoshimo, well said. My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. Oh, good business to you, my lord. My name is Katarus. Might you be interested in some artwork? A painting to add style to your abode? No, I don't think so. Nothing here really suits my taste. Well, I'm afraid that I'm only a purveyor of fine works of art. You're not a customer of refinement and wealth, and you have no interest in being here, I am sure. Good business to you. So what else is here? There's an ore merchant, though I don't really see why we would have business with one of those. Well, we can exit down here. There also appears to be an exit here and here and here. There doesn't seem to be anything else uh, eye-grabbing here in the, uh, the district. I guess we'll just kind of wander off in this direction then, maybe. Oh, this looks like a merchant here. Ah, yes, the city. You'll find no With better all prices in people and their I accumulated wealth, yes? Hello, Lord. You can't have purchased one of my high-quality merchandise this morning. Let's see what you have. Alright, no small chat for you. You cut right to the chase. Alright, he's got generic weapons, all kinds. Magical bolts and bullets. And a couple potions. Nothing really very remarkable at all. Just name what you want. So, what the heck with that? Bellman Gurgas? That sounds interesting. And you know if you got a name, especially a surname, you're important in this game. Well, apparently he's got nothing to say to us. Oh well. So, I guess there isn't really anything left for us to do here uh, in the, what is it called? Joaquin's Promenade. So, yeah, let's get going. Alright, it looks like the only other place we can go to right now is the slums. So, we'll go this way. Cool! You'd be the one I'd be looking for, if I'd not be mistaken. Carrot Luray be your name, I. Hmm. This guy calling us out by name despite being a complete stranger. He cared to admit to it. I suppose he would. Yes, I am he. What is it that you want? That's not what I want, but what I can be doing for you. You might be wanting information about a young lass arrested by the wizards on your arrival here, I. Oh. Yeah, I'd rather know who you are first before I deal with you. Well, bless me for being an idiot if I haven't gone and forgotten my manners. Uh, my name be Galen Bale. You needn't stretch your brain thinking. I'd be sure it's a name you haven't heard. I have heard of him, Carrot. At least a little. He is a man with many connections amongst the underworld in this city. A man of his word, too. As far as that is worth. You be a different man. You'll be renowned enough that someone might be willing to find this Imu in for you, or maybe this wizard who held you. Either way, they both went to the same place. How 
How do you know all of this? Carrot asked suspiciously. Cool. Well, I know very little myself. I can, however, link you up with a group that knows. Or can be finding out. But this be not the best place to hold such a dialogue. I be having a place that would suit far better. It'd be just a short walk for me. Why don't I take you there right now? Unless you have some reason for not wanting to come along. Um, how would we know this isn't some kind of trap? <laughs> I have no interest in setting up a trap. It'd be more profitable to serve. I'll speak no more. Come with me and you can decide whether to enter me house. Oh well, I guess we did. It's good to be seeing you once again. Me lord, I see that you were able to keep up with me alright, eh? I was afraid I'd lost you there. <laughs> I kept up just fine. Now tell me what this is all about. Aye, I'll be doing that as quick as you blink. I'll tell you straight that I know a powerful group that can be helping you. They can be finding the wizard and the young woman both they can. But they can be doing far better than the telling, my friend. They can also affect a rescue of your last to boot. Hmm. Just what is this organization, anyway? This I cannot tell you. Rest you find that they be willing to help, and having enough power to challenge the crowd wizards. That's all you be needing to know. All I need to know is where Imowen is. I can handle the rest myself. You might think this, but I be telling you it isn't true. Without my organization, there'd be nothing you could do. Choose then. Be me wanting to help, or nay. And how much would help like this co is going to cost me? Might seem to be a bit costly. Think of the danger in crossing the cowed wizards. A fair price if you think about it. It'd be 200,000, rather, pardon my language, 20,000 gold pieces for their help. Well, Carrot and the party back in Boulder's Gate had actually saved up nearly 100,000 gold pieces, so I don't think he would be terribly shocked by that, even though it is a considerable fortune. He already has said three. I guess, well, I mean, and he would know that, well, how would you raise such a fair? You go adventuring, and, you know, you get wealthy that way. I mean, that's not really a question he'd be asked. Yeah, I guess he would just try to be a stickler about it and be like, is there no way to lower the cost? None. That'd be 20,000 gold, or my friend's gonna be, cannot be helping you. I'd say that's too much to ask when I don't even know who will be helping it or getting the money. You might think so, but the offer I make is good whether you act on it now or not. You will come to see the reasonable nature of it, I'm sure. Yoshimo saying, he may be right, Kerid. It would take someone of power to find good information on the Celt wizards. This may be your only opportunity to find Imuin. Spend not a coin now, then. Seek your fortune about the town, but remember here is where your help is. Strangers are not always to be feared. Huh. Well, is there no help to be found elsewhere, then? There be no aid elsewhere. Raise the coin or nay, you'll come back and I'll be waiting. You may want to speak to Aladdin upstairs to help you out. Good luck. Bruss will be waiting for you outside. He's my nephew, and he'll show you to the copper coronet. You'll find work easily enough there, you will. There was some fellow named Medine looking for adventurers. Doesn't know much about him, but he's at the government district if you're interested. Fare you well, then, and give me greetings to the lieutenant if you happens by him. Yeah. The deal is made, and you have a goal albeit a distant one. 
Your new friend has assured you that passage to Imoan can be bought. Though you are certain the final tally will include much more than gold. Any help is welcome, however. And while the cost may be steep, your path is clear. Finding Imuin will lead to Irenicus and to answers long overdue. Hmm. Care doesn't trust this Galen Bale person, though. Not one bit. Ooh. These are the prisoners from the disturbance at Joaquin's Promenade. What is known? Not but their names. The mage is John Irenicus. The girl is Emowyn. I didn't do anything. He did it all. I had... Silence, child. Allow the fool to make his judgment. Why was this man not gagged? Did he not slay four of you? We dared not approach. Uh, regardless, in the end, he came willingly. What should be done with them, sir? They are deviants. Let them rot in Spellhold. Hmm. Oh, and you can actually read in the script here everything they said and the spells they were casting. Dimension door. Hmm. Okay then. Of course. So Galen Bale suggested we talk to somebody upstairs. I don't know, maybe they can help us. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Hello. Ah, oh, I know a discerning eye when I see one. I understand. I must give you access to my wares. My sources vary and I will not name them, but if you wish to purchase, I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Alright, let's have a look. An excellent choice, my lord. You'll find that I offer many things not to be found elsewhere in the Cutler. And if they are, we'll not find them at a lower price. Alright, he sells arrows, bolts, bullets. We actually do need more of those. Buy some. Amulet of protection, wand of frost, oils of speed, agility, antidotes, absorption, strong healing potions, other potions, a couple of scrolls. Uh, some magical medium armor, shields, quarterstaffs, basic magical swords, another weapon.